Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video, guys. To any of you having a hand day, guys, Santa Fe, and you need to remove or replace engine starter. Stay with us and we will explain, guys, how to do that, what you need to do to get to the starter and to remove it. Now, you don't need to remove your engine. We simply have it out due to the fact that we'll be making hundreds of videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars. And uh, with the engine being out, we can show you everything with the great detail so you know what to expect, where every bolt is located, and uh, you can get the detailed information that will help you fix your vehicle on your own. So let's explain how to replace that starter now. So this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this specifically guys it's a 2.4 gdi engine in order to get to the starter first let's before we start guys i want to tell you something you need to disconnect your car battery guys number one on these modern vehicles it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect or reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can cause damage to the engine computer to the electrical components modules and that can cost you thousands of dollars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below okay to a video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect first if you don't know that check it out guys now with that being said number two you need to remove the intake manifold on your Hyundai Santa Fe so you can get to the engine starter we have the complete video guys that will teach you how to remove the intake manifold okay everything from start to finish step by step so check it out it will be on our channel okay if you need to do that and once you remove the intake manifold everything is loose check it out that's where your engine starter is located some of you say okay okay i will replace it from underneath it's almost impossible to do that guys okay practically it's impossible okay to do that without draining the coolant removing coolant lines which is quite complicated the intake manifold it's not too complicated to remove and i would recommend to replace the uh, vacuum lines on the intake manifold once you remove it this right here is the positive wire that goes to the battery now that wire guys okay you need to make sure the car battery is disconnected now if it's not what can happen now guys if you touch it to ground okay you see sparks flying and you can burn electrical components modules fuses and that could be really costly to uh, fix guys so now let's go ahead get this one loose and once we get it loose we'll explain okay what else what else we need to do after that perfect okay the other wire right here guys this is actually a signal wire okay this is your signal wire this is the one the ignition wire that when you turn the ignition on actually sends signal to the starter okay to activate it so it can actually turn the engine over so that one in our case it's extremely guys stuck so stuck that this thing is broken inside guys okay and what is happening right here now we need to actually press it with a screwdriver from all the heat in that engine that thing this disintegrated guys so it fell apart so right here this is the clip you press down you pull it out and you can see if you have a car that doesn't crank always inspect that clip because that could be the reason for that okay for instance you can see right now ours okay ours it can just come loose so if somebody just installs it like that you hit a bump it can come easily loose and that can uh, make your actually Hyundai Santa Fe not to start guys so uh, you can see quite a bit of rust on that engine starter next 14 millimeter socket guys and from the transmission side we have two bolts okay that we need to pre-loosen okay to get that starter going so okay I think 
once we get them losing a little bit they will go by hand pretty easily after that okay let's do the bottom one now same thing so we need to go ahead do those you can spray a little bit of penetrating spray on the boats you can see one of the boat is right here the other one is on the back side so you can get to it that way if you need to and if you remove your intake manifold and your valves look so dirty like ours okay check it out you need to inspect or replace your pcb valve as soon as possible because probably you're pumping quite a bit of oil in your engine guys okay and you may even notice increased oil consumption as well so let's go ahead okay let me see if i can spin that by hand yeah this one's going by hand now so i'll go ahead remove that one and later we just have one more the bottom one check it out it's almost coming off okay you can remove the bolt or leave it there okay one of the two now we're working on the bottom one the starter will start dropping so i'll hold it i should have spread a little bit probably penetrating oil here so it could have lubricated that bolt and the starter bolt was going to come out easier we're getting there now guys check it out just a little bit left and i think it will be any minute okay now the bolt is out we grab that engine starter and it comes out okay just like that now we'll have a video guys that explains the number one thing that goes bad in the starter and how to fix an engine starter and how to test an engine starter so that will definitely teach you how to do that putting it together guys practically in reverse order we took it apart hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and if you have any questions let us know see you guys next time